You are welcome to another video of the course Network Automation and Service Orchestration using Cisco NSO. In this section, again, we will use RESCON protocol, the newest northbound connection method to connect to the Cisco NSO to manage network devices. But in the previous section, we have used Postman software, and in this section, we will use Python script. From the beginning of the course, we use CLI, GUI, and Python, magic library to connect to Cisco NSO and manage network devices. In the previous section, we started using the latest method RESCON protocol to connect to Cisco NSO using software Postman and Cisco NSO Postman collection. In this section, we continue to use RESCON protocol as the Norseman connection method, but via Python scripts. The easiest way to prepare the first release of RESCON Python script is to use the Postman software to extract the equivalent Python code for each existing RESCON API sample. In the last section, we discussed how to extract the Python code or code with any other programming language from the Postman software. Here we choose the code section and then we choose here the language and for each language and the library you will receive the code equivalent to the RESTConf API and this can be used as the first release of the Python script and then it can be extended. For our first example we get the list of interfaces from the rotor R1 in Cisco NSO. However, we will use the exact Python script generated in the Postman software without any modification. Just have copied the script here. It uses Python request library to connect to Cisco NSO through HTTP protocol. It uses the IP address to 101 and the port 8080 to connect to Cisco NSO then the rest conf slash data is always fixed how do I extract the remaining part of URL we have discussed many times how to get it via display xpass option in Cisco NSO we use HTTP request with the request.request .request method to send HTTP GET command to the specified URL to Cisco NSO. The parameter payload is empty since we get information and don't send any payload. The data encoding format accepted by the script and the authentication information are specified in the header field now we can run the script to see the result python 3 and then 13 1 as we expect the list of interfaces and their ip address will be displayed in the output loopback interface 100 150 300 gigabit ethernet 1 2 and three let's delete the interface loopback 300 no interface loopback 300 and then we will run again the script this time only the loopback interface uh, we have to also uh, sync it into cisco nso devices device and r1 and then sync from and then i run the script again and now this time only the loopback 100 and 150 without loopback 300 but now i want to modify the first script in order to parameterize the script which make it easier to read debug and reuse let's open the script here i use the variables host port 
user and password which can easily be changed depending on the environment in which you want to run the script it is also possible to keep and secure these variables out of the script which is out of the scope of this course but it is already discussed in the course CLI based network automation in the URL host and port variable are used in the middle of the string with the help of f string f string in python provide a way to embed expression inside the string values the other change is that the authentication information including username and password is added in http request command using auth header field or authentication header field if you run the script you will receive the same result as the previous script that we have extracted from postman software let's run the script with 13 1 1 1 and we will receive the exact output look back 100 and 150 all of the other scripts discussing in this section are also taken from the postman software and i have only parameterized them to make it easier for you to understand and reuse it the second script 13.2 is used to add a new loopback interface in the router r1 compared to the previous script the first difference is using the command or the method post instead of get since we are adding a configuration to the rotor the payload is no longer empty because we need to send the new configuration to the rotor it is in a json format therefore a new header field content type specifies the format of the payload sent via post command how do we prepare the payload it is easy in the previous script we got the list of the interfaces in json format i just copied and look back interface json output and changed the name and the ip address the payload is converted to a correct json file using json.dumps method this method is used to convert python objects such as dictionary list string to json string objects now we run the script to make sure that the new loopback interface is added in the rotor r1 at the moment show ip interface brief there is no loopback 300 but let's run the script python 3 13 2 and then again we check the rotor the new loopback interface 300 is created in the rotor in the next script or in the third script we delete the new loopback interfaces created in the second script let's check inside the script the url is as the previous script just we add loopback 300 in order to delete the interface loopback 300 the only other difference is using http delete command instead of get or post command payload is also empty since we don't send any content to the network device let's run the script to make sure that the interface loopback 300 is deleted from the rotor python 3 and 13 p 13 3 and check again as you see loopback 300 there is no more in the rotor in the next three 
Eskri 13, 4, 5, and 6, we receive the operational output from network devices using Cisco NSO live status feature. I got the URL from Postman software. Let's check inside the script. I got the URL from the Postman software, but it is easy just adding live status keyword at the end of URL after choosing interesting device. HTTP GET command is used to get operational output. If we run the script 13.4, in the output you see the operational status and statistics including interface status and statistics interface counters and then ARP information and then interface name and the IP address and the MAC address and device software model version and licensing information from the live status feature in the next script 13.5 is exactly the same as the previous script live status script but the output is limited to only display ARP information from live status feature this is done with adding tail f and ed cisco ios stats arp at the end of url after live status keyword this is also can be easily extracted from the output of the previous script and also we have discussed about finding this command with directory option in the python magic library or display x pass in cisco nso itself Let's run the script and see the op information stored in the rotor R1, Python 3.13.5. The IP address and the MAC address of the nodes existing in the rotor ARP table is displayed in the output. And in the last script, 13.6. Let's open. We send an exec command like show IP interface brief to the network device to be executed. The result is not JSON structured and you will get the result like exactly when you enter the command directly from the CLI. To send an exec command in an iOS device, we specify the keyword tail F and ED Cisco iOS stats exec any at the end of the url and after live status keyword and the command itself must be passed as the payload via argument to the input variable for sending exec command we also need to use post http post method in HTTP request. These are the only differences, and now we can run the script. We get the result of show IP interface brief command. For example, Giga Ethernet 1, the IP address of Giga Ethernet 1, Giga Ethernet 2, Giga Ethernet 3, loopback 100, and loopback 150, and their IP address. 